Good morning. Today we are going to see the connective tissue. Definition. Tissue that supports, protects and forms the structure of all other tissues and organs in the body constitutes connective tissue. General features. It is derived from mesoderm. It is highly vascular except for cartilage and tendon. It has no supply except for cartilage. It consists of three basic elements, cells, fibers and brown substance. Cells of connective tissue. The cells of connective tissue is divided into two types, fixed cells and wandering cells. The fixed cells include fibroblast, adipocyte, pigment cell and mesenchymal cells. The wandering cells include macrophage, plasma cell, mast cell and white blood cells. Fibroblasts. They are large, flat, spindle shaped cells that are found in the interstitial spaces of organs which are responsible for making extracellular matrix and collagen. They also play an important role in healing of wounds. Adipocyte. Adipocyte or fat cells are spherical or oval in shape which are specialized in synthesis and storage of fat. Pigment cell. The pigment cell or melanocyte are derived from neural crest cells. They contain a pigment in the cytoplasm known as melanin. Example, skin, coroid and iris. Mesenchymal cells. It is an embryonic connective tissue that gives rise to all types of connective tissue in the body. Macrophage. It is a large cell having the property of phagocytosis. Example, Kupfer cells in the liver, alveolar macrophage present in the alveoli of lungs, microglia in the central nervous system, microglia in the central nervous system, macrophage present in the spleen and bone marrow. Plasma cell. It is one of the type of B lymphocytes which produce immunoglobulin that is an antibody. Mast cell. They are small round or oval shaped cells that secretes heparin, histamine and serotonin. Heparin is an anticoagulant. Histamine is produced during the allergic reactions and the serotonin is a neurotransmitter. White blood cells. They play an important role in the defense mechanism of the body. Example, neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil and lymphocytes. Fibers of connective tissue. The fibers of connective tissue, there are three types of fibers, collagen fibers, reticular fibers and elastic fibers. Collagen fibers. Okay. They are present in all types of connective tissues. They are colorless and contain a protein called collagen. Example, tendon, aponeurosis, fascia and articular cartilage. Reticular fibers. They are highly branched, delicate fibers that gives support to the organs. Example, spleen, lymph node, liver, thymus, kidney, bone marrow. Elastic fibers. An elastic fiber is a connective tissue fiber that helps the tissue to recoil after stretch. 
Example, they are present in the large blood vessels, lungs, skin, and ligamentum nuke, ligamentum flavum, cartilage. It is a specialized dense connective tissue which is made up of chondrocytes. Embedded in a matrix of ground substance and fibers. General features cartilage is derived from mesoderm. The cells of the cartilage are known as chondrocytes. Immature cartilage cells are known as chondroblast. With increasing age, it tends to become calcified. It is avascular and alymphatic. Invasion of cartilage by blood vessels results in calcification and death of cartilage. Except for articular cartilage, the cartilage is lined by a concretion known as perichondrium. A cartilage can never be converted into a bone. It can only be replaced by bone. The process of conversion of cartilage into bone is known as ossification. Types of cartilage. There are three types of cartilage. High end cartilage, white fiber cartilage and elastic cartilage. The high end cartilage has a fine ground substance. That is, the ground substance is fine and smooth. The ground substance of white fiber cartilage has bundles of collagen fibers. Bundles of collagen fibers. The ground substance of elastic cartilage consists of coarse elastic fibers the high end cartilage undergoes calcification whereas the white fiber cartilage and elastic cartilage does not undergo calcification presence of perichondrium in high end cartilage and elastic cartilage the pericondrium is absent in white fibro cartilage. The cells of the cartilage are present in a space known as lacuna. The cells are accumulated in a group of 2 to 6 cells. And presence of 2 to 6 cells in a lacuna is known as cell nest. And the presence of cell nest is in high end cartilage and elastic cartilage. The cells of the white fiber cartilage are arranged in a chain or in a row form. Example for high end cartilage ala of nose, costal cartilage. Thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, arytenoid cartilage, and articular cartilage. Example for white fiber cartilage, secondary cartilage disc joint, example intervertebral disc, pubic symphysis, glenoidal labrum, acetabular labrum. Example for Elastic cartilage, pinna, the largest cartilage in the body, okay. epiglottis, carniculate, and cuneiform cartilages. So these are the three types of cartilages present in our body. Thank you.